Chapter 17, Governor General Jinnah's Other Speeches, Statements, and Messages. 1. Pakistan at the Beginning. Jinnah played a pivotal role in the creation of Pakistan, which included vast territories with uneven economic development. Pakistan had great geostrategic advantages, but the partition left it vulnerable to real and perceived security threats fostering a garrison mentality. Jinnah expressed a desire for good relations with Britain and the United States, positioning Pakistan as a key player against Soviet communism. At a banquet on August 13, 1947, Jinnah expressed goodwill towards Britain and India, referring to India as Hindustan, emphasizing the peaceful intentions of Pakistan. On August 14, 1947, during the inauguration of the Pakistan Constituent Assembly, Jinnah emphasized tolerance towards minorities, referencing Prophet Muhammad as a role model over Emperor Akbar. Jinnah's August 15, 1947 message focused on peace within and outside Pakistan, reiterating the importance of treating minorities well. His aid message on August 18, 1947, acknowledged the sacrifices made for Pakistan's creation and emphasized the protection of Muslim minorities in India. 2. Handling of Partition and Refugees Despite his earlier calls for peaceful coexistence, Jinnah blamed the violence and refugee crisis on a conspiracy by the Indian leadership. This one-sided narrative ignored the atrocities committed by Muslim leaders and militias since March 1947. His late visit to the Walton Relief Camp and the alleged regretful statement, My God, what have I done? reflected a delayed acknowledgement of the suffering caused by partition. His selective narrative portrayed Pakistan as a victim of conspiracies, ignoring the complex realities of the communal violence that plagued both India and Pakistan during and after partition. 3. Contradiction in Religious and Political Stance Jinnah emphasized Islamic principles as the foundation of Pakistan, yet he insisted that Pakistan would not be a theocratic state ruled by religious clerics. This created confusion regarding the true nature of Pakistan's governance. Jinnah's shift from advocating provincial autonomy to a strong centralized state contradicted his earlier political stance, creating tensions within Pakistan's diverse provinces. 4. Two-Nation Theory and Its Impact Jinnah's commitment to the two-nation theory led to the partition, which he continued to defend despite growing evidence that it had detrimental effects on Muslims who remained in India. Prominent figures like Chaudhry Kalikuzaman later criticized the theory, acknowledging that it had been harmful to Muslims left in India, which was a harsh indictment of Jinnah's vision. Jinnah's insistence on the two-nation theory forced him into an intellectually and morally untenable position. He appealed to the same Indian leadership, which he had previously condemned, to protect Muslims in India, showing the contradictions in his rhetoric. 